Test and Sass Part 3. Today we're going to look at pair T tests. Okay, so I've already read in the CyclerCPK.csv data set. It is actually sitting over here in my work directory. So I've already got it here, read in. You can look at the previous video on how to do that. We're going to jump in and we're going to do PROC T test. Our data is equal to the Cycler data. And here we're doing paired. And let's look at this real quick. Why would this make sense? Because subject one, if they have a high CPK value, it's likely to be high across all the measurements because it's within a person. There's some correlation that exists within a person. So they're not independent measurements. So CPK1 and CPK2 aren't independent from each other because they're measured on exactly the same subjects. So in this case, we'd want to do a paired t-test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the difference between CPK2 and CPK1 and do this as a paired t-test in SAS. So the key here is paired I put in CPK2 star CPK1 and then run it. Okay, this is the code to hopefully get us the answer we're looking for. Okay, I run this. I'm going to get a whole bunch of information. I get the QQ plot and that doesn't look too bad. So uh, on the differences, uh, I also get the agreement of the two measurements. So this is how correlated they are. Notice these things are quite correlated. So keep that in mind. So these were not independent observations, which makes a two sample t-test inappropriate for this. Uh, this gives the profiles, just so you can see the people up here tend to be high, the people in the middle tend to be in the middle, and the people at the bottom tend to be at the bottom. Uh, you get the density, uh, uh, kernel density, normal density, and the histogram. You get a confidence interval and a box plot, and notice there's actually kind of one outlier there. Uh, but what we're actually interested in is right here. So this is where the t-test actually is, and it gives you a p-value. And this p-value is really high. No sane person would say that these two groups are different uh, based off these measurements because uh, the p-value is 0.8. It's like an, you'd be willing to be wrong 80% of the time if you said that this was significant. All right, so uh, let's move on to the next video and start learning some other analysis tricks.